Hi guys, got a question from Snowman Plays 24/7 on my rubber band powered car made from drinking straws and toothpicks. He wanted to know what else he could use other than drinking straws to make the car. Well, you can use anything you like to be honest. In fact, more often than not, I just use rectangles cut from cardboard. But being as he asked the question on the car made from drinking straws, there's a handful of different types of drinking straws, um, I thought I'd try and answer the question along that sort of line. So, if you're not going to use drinking straws for the chassis of the car, for the body, um, you could use ball pen tubes, they're quite handy. Uh, depending on which manufacturer they are, some of them shatter when you try and cut them, some of them cut quite alright, but you need a small saw to cut them. Another one of my favourites, barbecue skewers, or as these are labelled, kebab skewers, but they're bamboo skewers. You can get flower canes from the garden centres that are very similar. Here we've got chopsticks. Again, they'll be some sort of bamboo. These are actually joined together at the moment, but you can split them apart. Or we got coffee stirrers here. If you do get coffee stirrers, make sure you get ones that are the same length. <laughs> or you'll be a bit stuck when you come to use it and find one of them shorter than the other ones. I think that's a short one, yeah. Um, don't have a lot of strength, but you could tape two or three of them together. And that will give you a reasonably strong chassis. Uh, rubber bands, people ask me if they can make a car using one rubber band or two rubber bands or three. The point is, there's hundreds of different types of rubber bands, so just asking for a car using one rubber band uh, isn't very helpful. A lot of people ask for number 64 rub rubber band, that's a pro popular size. Well, that one's not a 64. It's about the right width for a number 64, but there's a table. If you Google it, look on the internet, you'll find a table that tells you the different sizes of the different rubber bands. To be honest, there's not much point asking me for specific size rubber bands, because I just buy mine in the bargain store and they come out any sort of size. So I'll show you a rubber band powered car, but it's up to you to try and make it work with the right number of your size rubber bands. For wheels, you could use plastic bottle tops. I hate using plastic bottle tops because they give you no grip at all, they're much too small. But again, the project we're talking about, I did use plastic bottle tops. So I'll probably make a car in a minute and I will use plastic bottle tops. They'll be too light, so I've got some plasticine here that I use to add some weight. And there's things like Play-Doh and Blue Tack and all sorts of other soft putty type things that you could use to squeeze into various shapes to add weight. And then for tools, um, some scissors. usually need something sharp to make a hole in the bottle tops to put the axle through. So that's what I use, it's called a brabble, but you could use a nail. In fact, if the plastic's soft enough and you're using barbecue skewers, you can usually just push it through using the point. Probably need some cutters. And some sort of sticky tape. So I'll make a car now and I'll decide which of these to use. I think I'll make it 
using the coffee stirrers simply because that will be a little bit more of a challenge because these really don't have much strength so first thing I'll do is tape a few together to make it stronger and when I do that I might use one of these ones that's a bit shorter to leave a little gap between them so I can put one across like that So that we have a, a cross member. Because we need something to attach the rubber bands to. So something like that. 